Markell will kick it away. Freshman from Arlington, Texas. Toe meets leather, and this one will squib down and make its way. Wow. It did 46-yard connection. Yeah, no question. That was actually pressure being brought on that play, and because it changed hands three times, it almost got to him, but the fact that it was successful, as we look at a full vertical look here, an opportunity to take a shot. Look for the receiver in the slot real quick. Oh, maybe draw. Touchdown. Nice. How about Good that? Good job spreading them out. Did it with formation. Yep. And the Mustangs take the early lead, which, by the way, has been the custom the last handful of years in this series. The numbers in the box tell you the story. Again, with the four vertical looks, that means four wide receivers spread out. They were able to get the look that they wanted, and you count the numbers in between the tackles. SMU had five. You only had three for TCU to block them. It's a numbers game, Tim. Run where they ate. Luke Hogan will try for the extra point. Transfer from West Virginia. They've had all kinds of problems with extra points and field goals. Uh, this particular adventure goes easily. And proximity to the ball by his teammates to make the stop. Bouchel back in, goes to Jones, and Xavier Jones touchdown. Eighth rushing touchdown of the year. And uh, right now the Mustangs have control. Well, you win the line of scrimmage in these green zone scenarios. Five yards inside. It's just a base play. Who's going to win? You know, they got a nice movement up front. Nice job of Wallow it getting in there. Garrett did at his same position. He actually moves inside, sees a little vacant spot. Look at this. But he got inside. Look at this formation. Look at this. Well, For two. Two. And he's got it. That's wow. Cayman Freeman. And TCU was totally surprised by that. And again, when you're screen. That's some you mixing things up on the back end. Right up the wow. cut. Anderson, touchdown. <laughs> His third rushing touchdown. Timmy on the outside, sometimes you guess right, sometimes you guess wrong. When the quarterback can put that in man on the line of scrimmage in sort of no man's land, that's the way you run the option route. You make him make that decision at the last second possible. Anderson got him in there with the speed. Jonathan Song is... Snap, spot, and the kick. Ooh, did he get it through? Yep, he got it. Yeah, we've got an alert. That's the end. We the have a football quarter. alert. Man coverage here with a blitz off the edge, and it's coming. Got him right now. Four. Incomplete. Oh, it's a pick. It may be intercepted. It is. Back to the end zone. Our Darius Washington pulls it out of the air. Oh. Duggan remains the quarterback. Anderson. Touchdown. His fourth of the season, his second today. And you, you're so right, Spencer. Inflection points. Yep. That uh, sequence there on the interception in the end zone, a penalty that was missed, and then the big play, the 77-yard run. It really kind of turns the game around. And Jonathan Song comes in for the extra point. Almost like Dykes has seen this, and so has SMU play out many times before. Nice job blocking, too. Freeman the setback out of the shotgun. It's Freeman. He's it. in there. Touchdown. Pony up. The Mustangs have said we're still here. His second touchdown. Well, it's just an inside little mesh and a counter move. Ooh. Outstanding job of going the opposite direction oh. of where Hayden Howerton, the left guard, was telling him to go. Huh? The defensive lineman was taking him that way, took the hole away, and he countered move. Just great footwork. Outstanding. <laughs> that a way to put your foot in the ground. Oh, man, the was that direction. Oh, was that sweet? <laughs> you know, we don't care who wins, but that was a sweet, quick run. You mentioned foot in the ground. And there is the experience that has been inside. <laughs> Great stuff. There you go. Stop eight. Got it. Shoulder. Touchdown. <laughs> Proshay. <laughs> oh, that's what.
what they've been looking for right there. Set yourself on the numbers to give you some cushion from the sideline. Press man coverage. It's you and me. Stop fade. The ball is already on its way. Turn that shoulder. Impossible to defend if you got your back turned to it. He wants Stewart didn't have a chance to defend that play. From North Shore in the Houston area. Mm. That was right. Twin setbacks with Anderson. And they go fade again. This time to the corner. Tim, whether it's from the H-back position or from his tight end slot, he missed one against Purdue that was high-pointed and didn't come up with that one. But this one right here, oh, he completes great. it. This is just textbook athleticism going up. He's a physical guy, smart guy as well. And they love this kid, man. They love what he does on the field anyway. <laughs> He's a great athlete with great instincts yeah. and great ability. Yeah. The receiver on the inside, number three. That's Brochet. They got it. They go the other way. Way. Touchdown, Xavier Jones. Well, they, they had two options there. Crochet was actually coming on the shallow crossing route to create not necessarily a high low, but both of them essentially were uncovered. It would have been a late read, but number five will work too. Got a little mini wheel route here. Yeah, he comes out and he turns inside, though. Doesn't have to turn over that opposite shoulder. Finds the ball, places it right in front of him. Nice catch. His first touchdown reception of the year. Second touchdown of the day for Xavier. Ooh. And it's going to be Russell Roberts, 97, who attempted the last one. It boots this one. Made results prove quality control. Quick out to Alamo. Spencer, there are always times when a quarterback can grow up, and I think Duggan may have on this drive. Alana Lua gave him some help, too, along with Anderson. Again, I like the fact that they relied on the ground game, it, despite the fact, as you pointed out, his stick numbers have gone up for completions, but rely on what got you here to this point, the run game. Song right through the upright kick of his life. Yep. Oh, wow. Not necessarily the prettiest, but right through the uprights. And importantly, a two-score lead, 41-31, with six and change remaining. <laughs> Stay right where you are. <laughs> Try it. But you know they want the conversion. Over the middle, the tight end. It's Perlin. Here's the ISO. Here's Crowell inside number 81. He wants to go inside, so he's wider in his stance to create a soft spot in that zone. And that big body, 6'3", 240 plus pounds of his, around 38 actually, he turns that inside. There's no way you can stop that. Man. I'll tell you, Spencer, between Crowell's 81 mm -hmm. to the inside. Spencer, how much does this mean to SMU? Huge. And there's Kenny Hill again with Duggan. You got to go back to 1984, Timmy. Well, this is a heck of a league. South Florida, Tulsa's got an outstanding defense. If you look at our Coors Light road ahead, made to chill, celebrate responsibly. And another top 25 team goes down in college football. SMU with a signature win, ending a seven-game losing streak in the battle for the Iron Skillet. And these two coaches who have worked together only within the last couple of years know so much about one another meet at midfield. I think they'll give me votes this week. <laughs> I think the Mustangs deserve a few. Yeah. yeah. There was one vote. Yeah, that's my There was only one vote in that AP poll. But actually, the coaches poll. Yeah. It was like one coach that voted for us in here. Now, very happy Sonny Dykes is downstairs with Coley Harvey. Coach.
coach. This program is now 4-0 for the first time since 1984 with that start. What do you say to that? Well, proud of our guys' effort today. We made some plays down the stretch and clutch. You know, we uh, we gave away uh, some points. You know, early we got three turnovers in the first half we didn't do a lot with. And against a good football team, it's hard to overcome that. But our guys really played hard. Love the way they fought. Really proud of them. You know, you said to me at halftime that this was going to be a second-half game. That's what you told your team before the game. What did you think of that second Yeah, we, we knew it was going to be a 60-minute game. Come down to the very end. And, you know, we just felt like our guys really were going to play hard for 60 minutes. If we did, we had a chance to win. There you go. Congratulations to you, Coach. much. Appreciate it. 1984 Coley was three years before the death penalty and look how far they've come since Sonny Dykes has been there now we're going to take